Hey, it's your girl B. Welcome back to the channel. As you all know, I do not like to do long intros, but as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. It's always appreciated. Now enjoy the video. Okay, so this is Future B coming back. So can we just talk about that cold sore looking thing on Chantal's look for a minute? I'm going to try to clip in, if I can remember, if I can't, sorry. But I'm going to try to clip in a moment where I saw it, like here, now. Let's just talk about it in the comments. Like, what is that? I'm not saying it's a cold sore, but it looks like a cold sore. Allegedly, you know, you got to put that in for legal purposes. But it does kind of look like a cold sore, all jokes aside. Alright, now back to the video. Bye! Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. Okay, so today we're going to be discussing Chantal, aka Booty Beauty, aka Everyday Miriam. We're going to be discussing her latest live in which she opens up um, talking about Salah surgery. If you don't know, he's having gallbladder surgery, or I guess at this point he's had gallbladder surgery. She discussed the fact that he went in the day before um, to prep. Now, to me, that seems like, you know, a lot of time for preparation. I know that they ask you to come in a few hours in advance so they can prep you, but a whole day. You know, low-key, I was thinking, what if he was really in a hotel, you know what I'm saying, just trying to get away from her? And she revealed the fact that he drove himself. I found that odd that he would drive himself. Well, okay, not that he would drive himself there, but he would have to then drive himself back. You know what I mean? Because a lot of times after surgery, even if it's laparoscopic, they have you on a lot of um, painkilling medications, which a lot of times, at least here in the United States, you can't drive on. So I found that to be very, very, very strange. Or so, not that it's strange, but the fact that she just didn't seem to be bothered or really care, that seemed to be interesting to me. So I absolutely have to mention the water in this video. Why? Because I just posted a recent um, video, it's um, Amberlynn Reed's Most Funniest Moments, in which, if you haven't seen it, go see it, but in there, she meal preps water. Like, who the fuck meal preps water? Amberlynn Reed. Now, you know what's funny about it, though? It would be, okay, not different, but I could understand you keeping a couple of bottles of cold water in the refrigerator or even in the freezer, but she has access to ice and filtered water, so what the fuck? But my point being, Chantal and this water, I swear, her and Amberlynn Reed, they must think that water is like the, the, the cure, to, I don't know, the cure to all, it's the quintessential healthy thing, because they, they just, they guzzle down water like it's going out of style. Meanwhile, they're over here eating fried this, fried that, a mountain of rice. A side of salt, like, you name it, they're guzzling it down. And, you know, Chantal, in this video, she actually brought up later on in the video on um, the fact that, you know, so that Salah is actually um, going to have to start a new diet due to gallbladder surgery. And she brought, you know, she mentioned the fact that she also had gallbladder surgery, which makes it so much more alarming. Because it's like you've already had gallbladder surgery and you're still eating everything that you want. Everything that's fried, everything that's salty, everything that's unhealthy. And you're supposed to help him with his diet when you can't even help yourself with your diet. And on top of that, she um, said because she had already had gallbladder surgery that she would be able to advise him. Like who in their right mind would accept health advice from Foodie Baby? Would you, be honest, you can even tell me in the comments, would you take health advice from Fuzzy Booty? I'm sorry, Miriam, would you? I don't think so, honey, I don't think so. Um, she was mentioning this new medication that she was on, and she was also mentioning, like, um, you know, how she has to lower her salt intake, and I'm just, it gave me pickle flashbacks. She makes pickled everything, pickled carrots, pickled this, pickled that, which, I mean, like, a pickle here or there, maybe, but they're so salty. Like, girl, the pickles are killing you. Death by Pickles, a Foodie Beauty story. Don't nobody steal that title. It's mine. I'm going to make that movie. So, if you were wondering why we did not get a lie from Chantal yesterday, it was because she basically said it was too tedious to film. When, in reality, Chantal, all you do is sit around for 90 minutes saying hello to everyone and talking about nothing. Honestly, like if you, obviously, if you're here, you've watched the Chantal live before. But if you haven't, it's, hello, Angela. Hello, Hamburger. Hello, Sky. Hello, Door. Hello, Floor. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. That, that, that's 
watch Tom Phillips live for 90 minutes. Like, honestly, it, it, it's ridiculous. But you know what? Something interesting that she did mention, she actually addressed the rumors of her abusing her sister. Now, it was kind of interesting because at one point she said that she, in fact, did not remember whether or not her and her sister um, ever really got into fights or whatever. But then she went on maybe two to three minutes down the um, line and said, you know what, we, we never fought. And I'm like, which one is it? Did you fight? Can you not remember? Like, pick a side, baby, and stay there. Because, I mean, you have people calling you a child abuser. I don't know. I mean, I know because they have such a significant age gap that, I mean, come on, you clearly knew better. Now, the one thing that Chantal did do in this live that I greatly appreciated was she actually muted um, her microphone when she went to the bathroom. But when she came back, y'all, 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 this woman was panting like a dog, like a dog on a hot July day in Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah, I had to think of somewhere that's really hot. I mean, I could have said a desert. You know, she's in a, yeah, you know what, yeah, there you go. Like, like a hot dog in Kuwait City. Now, she did um, bring up the fact that she is feeling extremely depressed since Sala has been gone. It's only been a day, girl. Only been a day. Like, I mean, honestly, you treat your life like, you know, friends and family. So, I mean, how lonely can you be? Whenever you want to, you can just jump online and talk to like a thousand people at a time. But you know what, to be fair, maybe there is a difference. I mean, I mean, that is her husband and that is actual in real life, face-to-face -face companionship. But I mean, I just, I found it interesting that you can't go maybe, what, at most 72 hours without him. Especially considering you flew back to Canada and you were planning on living here for the duration of, you know, however long it was gonna take you to get weight loss surgery. Make it make sense. Now, um, because I'm not including the full video, you should know that really all you missed visually was about a good, I don't know, hour long makeup tutorial, legitimately. It was an hour long of her doing just her face. And how, could you imagine it taking an hour just to look that terrible still? To still have those bags, which she was addressing. She was addressing her under eye bags, how she looks terrible, now she's 40. Um, she also said that she wants to improve her skincare. Like, what do you really think that's gonna... Because it's not like she has the worst looking skin or, you know, any visible skin problems. How much do you really think that's gonna help? You know what you should do? Lose weight. Focus on your weight loss. And I'm not, because like, honestly, if you change your diet, your skin will improve. Hence, hopefully you will look drastically better. I just, I just, I don't understand her. Um, what else did she discuss? Um, was that it? That might have been it. Other than all the hellos, her making it seem like she has the worst job on YouTube. Her telling someone, yeah, one of um her, I guess, members or someone that was in a live chat brought up the fact that they were one of the first people to have um, gallbladder surgery. And she said that was really cool. And I was sitting there thinking to myself, it's cool to be a guinea pig since fucking when? Since never. Oh, and camping. Your girl is a camper. Chantal is going to be out there camping, y'all, with her CPAP. Her, you know, what she said was... As long as she can take her CPAP, she can go. Can you imagine this bear looking bitch in the fucking woods? Can you imagine this bear looking bitch in the fucking woods sleeping with that loud ass machine? Can you, um, yo, the, the bears are gonna all the woodland creatures. It's gonna be like Cinderella, but you know, Goody Beauty Edition, Fat Girl Edition. They're gonna be like, what kind of creature is this? This unidentified animal. I don't know, but that's pretty much everything she discussed. Summed up in under nine minutes. You're fucking welcome. You are welcome. And if you're appreciative, please, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Feedback is always appreciated. Let me know what you want to see, how long you want it to be, what format. I'm trying out a bunch of different videos because I want to give you the best content. And hopefully in the least amount of time. But yeah, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. And till next time, bye!